what is going on everybody so today we're going to be doing an unboxing video uh, this is the stuff that I picked up from African import this one is a quick pickup that I made at the store today Hermana Jodo Zinga Womo picked this up at TJ Maxx this was 10 bucks Tax this one out This is uh, one of the packages that came in today from African Imports. And another package from African Imports, a nice size uh, shipment came in today as well. So let's check this one out. Knife here. So as always, they'll send me like packets and stuff like that to sign up for their services to become a, a seller. Me, I don't purchase anything to sell. Everything I purchase, I keep. So that down. They sent me one of these before, <laughs> and they keep sending me these: the, the Mizwax uh, vegetable-based toothpaste. Um, yeah, <laughs> I already got one of these in the bathroom that I'll use. I used one to use some of it this morning. It's pretty good. It's all right. I think this one has like a different flavor though. This one I think it has uh, olive oil, like it has honey, uh, moringa, cinnamon. So we'll try it out tomorrow. And this is the this is the oil here. Put that down. And they send it wrapped in sort of like this weird paper. They have it wrapped extra well. <laughs> That is a nice size bottle. That right there is the Victor Roth Spice Bomb. I wanted to check this out and make a couple of atomizers of these uh, and just see how it smells. I heard, I heard a lot of good things about this. I don't think I've heard anything bad. I'm gonna check this out and see how this smells. I can tell I'm gonna like this already. It got a nice little spice, a little warmth to it, but it's not overly spicy. It just has the, a nice, good amount of it in there. So I, I can tell I'm gonna like that a lot. And here is our larger shipment that came in. We're gonna open this up. start doing these more often whenever I get a shipment in just do an unboxing video now this particular shipment I ordered a bunch of one ounce bottles again they'll send me a little packing slip and a seller's welcome packet that I don't really sell and once again they send me another pack of toothpaste. So we're gonna be good on toothpaste for a really long time. <laughs> yeah, we won't need toothpaste for a while. I'm gonna set all these out here. We 
got we got quite a few of these. I like the fact that they wrap these really well, nice and tight. two bottles in each one of these, so that was smart. So these two, we have Ed Hardy Born Wild, and this is Azaro Chrome Legend. I wanted like a nice, quick, easy, fresh scent that I could pick up, make a little atomizer out of. Woo, that smells just like it too. Nice. I've never smelled Ed Hardy Born Wild. Let's see how this smells. Oh wow, it's kind of spicy. Kinda got that red scent sort of vibe. It's a little bit of citrus going on in there. That's not too bad. It's kind of got like a clean, fresh scent, even though it's sort of like a red, giving me like a red scent vibe. That ain't too bad. Let's see what else we got. All right. So we have Paco Rabanne. This is the one million. And we have African Musk Green. I love this. We'll smell right quick. Ah. Oh. It's just that it's a nice deep musk with a little bit of like a green sort of vibe to it. I love that. I'm definitely gonna be wearing that sometime soon. I'll make an atomizer out of that one. Oh wow, that one million is sweet. Almost bubblegum like. I'll be interested to see how that actually turns when I atomize it and make it a little fragrance. That ain't gonna be too bad. Drop some of these back here. Let's see what's next. This one feels like it's a, a solo bottle, like it's just one bottle, so that might be one of the last ones they packed. This is Saint Laurent Lone. Check this one out. I've heard a lot of good about this as well. Hmm. It's, it's fresh, clean, but it's smooth. Got a slight booziness to it. Or maybe I'm just, I don't know if I'm mis mis smelling this. That's, it's really light. That's one thing I like about this one. It's light, it kind of got a really slight booziness to it. Very little, fresh. I like that. Check that out. What else we got? So here we got Jay-Z Gold Extreme and Hugo Boss Reversed. Now I was in the store, I was in Coles today and I saw Hugo Boss, but I didn't get a chance to smell it. Woo! Fruity, light, clean. It's definitely a white scent. Oh yeah, that is that that is pleasant. It's nice, fruity, sort of creamy, fresh, but it's not like overly powdery or anything like that to where it's too fresh. Like that's really good. Google Boss Reverse. That's gonna be a favorite of mine. 
This is the Jay Z Gold. Man, you get chocolate really strong in that. That's gonna be different. That's gonna be good for the fall. That's really chocolate. It's weird, I'm not getting any other notes. I get like a spearmint or a mint. I'm getting like a mint and I'm getting like a chocolate from this gold extreme. I can't really place everything. I gotta check out the note layout, but I'm getting either a spearmint or a peppermint or some sort of mint. Like a little bit of greenery going on and some chocolate, like some kind of cacao or something like that. Cocoa. It's kind of nice though. What else we got here? Ooh, these are some deep blues. Those nice deep blues. This is, oh yes. Paris Hilton for men. I already know how that smell. This kind of gives me vibes of true religion uh, for men. They kind of, that, that bubbly sort of sparkliness that it has in the beginning. I like it. Oh, and we got Versace Dylan Blue. I didn't realize we bought that one. Let me see how this smells. Cause I hear a lot of good about this. Oh! Yes, that is great. Oh, I can tell I'm gonna get plenty of compliments on this. That is excellent. That Dylan Blue is fresh blue. It kind of got like this bubble gumness to it, but not a whole lot. It's just the right amount of it. I like a little sweetness. Oh man, it's gonna it's gonna be so good, yo, when I make this into an atomizer. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And of course, I know what this smells like, but I'm gonna smell it anyway. Let's see how strong they have theirs. Yes, it's, it reminds me of their true religion opening so much, like. That True Religion opening and Paris Hilton opening is just like wonderful. That sparkly grape, whatever that is, I can't even place it. It's almost like a grape. Delicious. Yeah, this right here, this is gonna be a favorite of mine. That Dylan Blue was, oh, that was so pleasant. What else we got? Oh, we got some Hermes and some Varvados. We got some Hermes Intense Vetiver for men and John John Vorvedo's Vintage. Let's check this out. Oh, wow, wow. Woo! I'm definitely in like a boozy. We get like a peppery, boozy, fresh green. Oh man, that is beautiful. Tense vetiver, Hermes. Yeah, that's nice, yo. Oof. It reminds me for some reason of sunflowers. This is John Borvedo's vintage. Okay. Nice, clean, fresh, almost sharp. That's not bad. It's really light, kind of simple. Barbados Vintage, not too bad at all. Kind of clean, a, a lightly, light sharpness to it. Trash is piling up. We have ah another John Barbados artisan. John Artisan. I thought that was Artisan Blue at first. And this is a Paco Rabanne Invictus. I never smelled this one, so I've heard decent about this. So let's check this one out. Invictus. Oh wow. A little peppery. 
This is how it's coming off the bottle. Very fresh, clean, nice day-to-day. Uh, -day. But could very well be like a nice date night fra safe fragrance as well. This is a really safe one. Got a little warmness to it. Got some depth to it. Like it's a clean, fresh one, but it definitely has some depth where it can be done as a date night or a nighttime fragrance as, as well. A little weekend. This is pretty cool. Pick this. This is my first time putting my nose on one of their body oils, but uh, a lot of these are first time me smelling these and sniffing these, so I need to go and see if I can get my nose on the actual cologne. Hmm. Whew. That's nice. It smells like water. It smells like like fresh water, but not done in a typical blue scent kind of way. It literally just smells like fresh, like like fresh water. Oh, that's pleasant. I like that. It smells like just fresh water. Like that's the vibe that I'm getting. I like that a lot. Like fresh water and linen or something like that. What we got next? This was quite the haul. I didn't realize I picked up so many. Ooh. So this is Saint Laurent Bye. Are they parfum? I don't know if it's Y or E or they do something weird with the pronunciation. This is Versace Eros Eros Flame. Or Eros. I always say Eros. Eros Flame. Let's smell flame first. That flame do. Yeah. Oh yeah. It kind of gives me like a sour candy. A masculine sour candy kind of vibe. Got like a little bit of a sparkle. It must be some ginger in here. Feels like it's either ginger, ginger, coriander, or nutmeg or something like that in there, but that's really nice. That spiciness or that sparkliness. And usually whenever I get ginger or coriander or something like that or nutmeg, it kind of contributes to like a sparkling effect. And that has it. I like that. That's gonna let me smell that one more time. One more time. Y'all like that. I, and I've heard like some bad reviews about this, but yeah, I'm gonna try that out. What's crazy is I went to went to the local market and I wore this. This is Versace Eros. And uh, I got a good compliment on it today. That it was just like, oh yes, that smells amazing. So yay for me. Saint Laurent, why? Are they parfum? Hold on, let me uh, let me reset a little bit. You guys know I always have my my coffee beans on me. All right. What to be an auto perform? It's kind of light. But what I am picking up, I'm really digging that though. I think that's gonna be excellent. Got a light sweetness to it, some warmth, some that fresh aspect. I'm not sure if I'm picking up any water accords or anything like that, but it smells kind of aquatic. It's, it's light, but the little bit that I'm picking up is really pleasant. All right, let's see what this one is. It feel like it's three in this one. <laughs> it might just be two. Okay, yeah, it's just two. It felt like three of them at first. I accidentally dropped one of them. Ah, yes! Egyptian Musk. This is probably, out of any fragrance I have ever had, my most enjoyable and complimented fragrance. Oddly enough, is Egyptian Musk, the classic one. Love it. Absolutely love it. Like, oh, that is just... 
Let me smell it. That is just good. I'm gonna smell, I'm gonna smell it in a minute. I'm gonna smell it in a minute. And this is Celeron Lone Blue. I'm gonna smell this one though. Oh. Yes, that was what I wanted. Oh my God. You can't, you can't, you can't do anything about something that is that. It's so weird how this isn't talked about. I mean, it, it is, and it's sought after, you know, but it's almost like a, like a small cult following of people that, that really care about this. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. It's just such a good scent. You really can't overdo it at all. All it's gonna do is just make you smell greater. Just make you smell much, I can't even describe it. It was just amazing. Oh, Saint Laurent Long Blue. Ooh, I like that. I be I be getting a lot of bubble gum scents today. Fresh, sweet, kind of airy a little bit. That's gonna be great on me. I feel like I got a lot of these scents on nearly too late because uh, these are like really good summertime fragrances. That's really nice. It's airy, sweet, fresh. Kind of got like this little. Uh, just a slight bubblegum flair to it. And this is, oh yeah, that wood essence. I got this for the fall, because I figured it would be it would do well. That's that uh, Bulgari Man uh, wood essence. And this is Tom Ford Extreme. I'm gonna smell this one, because I'm excited to try that. That's really, really light. I'm just not catching it right. I can't really make that one out. That one's extremely light. For it's a lot of the ones that are extreme and all the parfum, those are the ones that tend to be light. <laughs> By the wood essence. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love that. It smells like a deep, wet forest and not like that super bright and fresh, piney kind of forest. It smells like a deep, damp forest and I, I love that. That's gonna be excellent. All right, guys, that is it for this particular unboxing video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.